Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and 1Password is one of the most essential apps on any device that I use, whether it be a Mac, an iPad, an iPhone, an Android phone, a Windows device, anything in my life, I'm installing 1Password on it the moment I get that new device because 1Password holds the keys to everything. <laughs> it lets me log into websites. It lets me uh, activate the other apps on my device. Uh, it lets me make sure I have access to my bank account, my credit cards, uh, personal info, sensitive documents, tax stuff. Everything that I think is essential and kind of secure, a secure document, I'm storing in 1Password and it does a great job with that. I've been using it for years. I absolutely love it, and so when 1Password 8 was announced, that is coming out soon and is in early access today, I had to take a look at it and see kind of what I thought about it. Uh, I really trust the team at Agile Bits to do a good job, so I had high hopes, and I think that I'm pretty darn happy with the update from what I've seen so far, and I wanted to take you guys through the eight things I think are most notable, the things you need to know about 1Password 8 coming later this year. Okay, so the first thing I have to get out of the way is the fact that this is a subscription app only now. So for the first couple years of 1Password, it was a buy once and then use it forever. Uh, then it became a option where you could either do that traditional model or you could pay five bucks a month and get access to uh, basically the app on all your devices for as long as you pay the subscription and things synced and it was, it was great. That's what I've been using since the day one that they offered it. Now with 1Password 8, they are only going in on the subscription model. So if you have the pay once version of 1Password 7 or earlier, you can keep using it. That's still gonna work how it does today but you're not gonna get the new update to 1Password 8. So if you're on the subscription like I am, it's not gonna be a big diff deal. You're not gonna notice anything different outside of the new app, obviously. Uh, you're just gonna get it because you're a subscriber. But yeah, if you're uh, kind of against the subscription for this, then you're not gonna get this update that may change what password manager you wanna use going forward. But yeah, uh, they're all in on subscriptions with 1Password 8. Thing number two is that there's a new UI, and I'm not gonna go too deep into this, but they've updated the UI. They've totally refreshed it, the app looks like 1Password, so you're going to be able to find your way around, but they've moved some things around. They try to make it easier uh, to kind of see things you've saved recently and stuff. And in general, I think it just follows more modern UI trends, uh, which is, you know, good or bad. 1Password um, has always been a great looking app, and I think that this continues the trend of that. So uh, again, this is a thing I've only spent like 24 hours with, so I don't have any deep opinions on these changes outside of saying it looks really, really nice. It continues to be a really nice looking app for the Mac. Thing number three is gonna ruffle some feathers as well. <laughs> this is the fact that that UI is built on web technologies. Yes, this is an Electron app. But I would say, I used it for a couple hours uh, yesterday when it came out. Didn't really think anything of it in terms of being a different technology than the previous app. And it only was until I went on Twitter and saw people complaining about it being an Electron app that I even noticed that was a thing. So take that for what you will. Some people have very strong feelings about Electron apps versus native apps. I like native apps, but I totally understand why Electron exists, and I really rely on and enjoy some Electron apps myself, so I don't know. Uh, be mad at me if you want. Give me a thumbs down if you really hate Electron apps and find it uh, unbelievable that I would actually <laughs> find them acceptable, but I think that they can be okay, and this, I think, is an example of a good Electron app uh, because, like I said, I didn't even notice it. I didn't even cross my mind until people started telling me that it was and that I should be upset about it. I'm not upset about it. Thing number four is more of a pure good news thing. Uh, this is an updated uh, that they've made to search. So search is similar to before. You can click into a search box anywhere in the app or you can do command F to find. And yeah, you start typing and the box is more similar to something like Slack or Alfred, kind of where like you see a list of results, you can arrow through them and you can go straight to that item or you can hit command enter or command return to go straight to a list of all the results and you can kind of filter from there. I like this, it looks nice. It's a lateral change, I think, from what they had before. What they had before I thought was pretty good. This one's good as well, so <laughs> I wouldn't say better or worse, just different. Number five is the thing that I think actually is going to make the biggest difference for me personally, and those are their updates to Watchtower. So Watchtower is kind of a collection of features that 1Password has added over the last couple years that help you do a better job of making good passwords, of updating passwords that have been compromised, keeping a track of just what am I duplicating passwords? Have these passwords been in breaches? Like what's going on with my passwords that I'm using? Are they good? Are they bad? Whatever. And my report uh, in 1Password 8 is brutal. I am doing a terrible job with my passwords. Um, it's worse than I even imagined. And Watchtower has been around for a couple years, like I said, and I haven't really used it. It hasn't really changed how I manage my passwords. I'm still as insecure, I guess, as I've always been. But 
this new view has really, I think it's really an improvement over what they had before. And it lets me see like, here's just a bar with all of your passwords. Here's the good, here's the bad, and here's the straight trash. And depending on how big your straight trash section is, that's gonna determine how much work you have to do. And I have a lot of work to do. But they also have these sections down below that that show you here's the thing, here's the like websites that have been compromised. Click here to see them and you can change them really easily. Um, and there's different categories. You can go into the ones that you want to act on. And in my opinion, this is a really good UI because it not only gives you a report of kind of how things are going, but it gives you clear action items that you can take uh, action on, that you can do things with pretty quickly, uh, pretty easily, and it's pretty clear what you need to do in these cases. So I'm a big fan of the new Watchtower in 1Password 8. All right, three to go. So thing number six, we have an improved editing experience. Uh, in my opinion, it's a little improved. It's mostly the new coat of paint really makes things look nicer uh, and feel better to use than the old one. Um, but yeah, it's pretty similar. If you've used one password to edit passwords before, you're going to feel right at home here. Uh, the new password generation thing uh, that has been there forever, I think might have a few more options. It's a little easier to kind of see like what things you're changing, how the results are going to look. Um, it was never bad, but I think this is probably a little better. Thing number seven is the Safari, Chrome, Firefox, Edge, like the web browser, the web extension experience is going to be a little better. It's going to look more like one password. Previously, it looked a little generic in my opinion, uh, wasn't the best looking part of the 1Password experience, and now it's gonna be more in line with the, uh, the normal app, which has, again, those more modern design trends uh, going on. I think it looks nice. I hope it's a real improvement. I haven't actually been able to use this one yet, but it is a thing that I'm going to use on a pretty regular basis, so hopefully that is definitely a better experience. And finally, number eight, this is a really good one in my opinion. Uh, they have some more recovery options for your account. So if I lose access to uh, my secret key or my master password or whatever, um, I am not able to get into my account and 1Password can't get me into my account because they don't have the key to access my passwords. Like that's one of the things I like about it is that only I can actually access the passwords even though they're syncing over the cloud. Now, if I lose that secret key, if I lose that master password, then I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> but one of the things that they're going to enable, and I haven't seen the exact details on that, I might throw it down here if uh, I can uh, find more info on how it works. But yeah, basically the short of it is you can give access uh, to, you can give something to a friend, a family, just remember just a trusted person in your life. You can make it so that they can let you back into your account if you're ever locked out. And I think that's really, really important because again, you're storing really sensitive information, really important information here and having a system where you can let someone be kind of your fail safe, but doesn't actually give them access. Like you're not giving them your secret key and your password. You're giving them something that'll let you kind of get back into your account and keep uh, using the service, <laughs> able to access all your passwords um, and stuff like that. So really happy that they're keeping an eye on that and making sure that people don't actually lose access to this account while maintaining a good level of security. So those are eight things I think are notable about 1Password 8. Um, I don't know when it's coming out, hopefully pretty soon, but if you want to get access to it on the Mac right now, uh, there is early access to it. I'll show, throw a link in the description where you can check it out. But yeah, that is 1Password 8. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, throw a thumbs up on it. If you didn't, I'd love to hear in the comments what about this update is upsetting you. Is it the Electron app? Is it the subscription only? I'm guessing those are the two things uh, that are going to ruffle people the wrong way. But um, again, for me personally, which is all I can share with you on this channel is my experience, um, I think these are pretty okay changes. But yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching.